I'm Dr. Lee Gregory. We're using Butterfly uh, to perform a limited abdominal ultrasound. We have Luna in right lateral recumbency, uh, which is going to be the most typical positioning. And we're starting at the liver uh, with the gallbladder in view, which is sort of our home base. Uh, we're going to take a quick scan through the liver, looking for any um, evidence of um, free fluid or effusion between the liver lobes or up against the diaphragm. We can orient a little bit cranially uh, to examine the heart beating, um, looking for any pericardial effusion or any evidence of mycocardia that might indicate hypovolemia. Um, now back to the liver, um, we're going to scan or slide uh, to um, the right of the animal and um, a little bit lateral and bring the probe back to examine our spleen. I'm going to decrease our depth to take a better look at the spleen. I'm just looking for any obvious masses or effusion around the spleen. Um, there's none there. Um, I'm bringing the probe a little bit caudal, and we've got the kidney in view. Just looking really for any evidence of perirenal effusion or any gross dilation of the um, renal pelvis. So having gotten that view, I'm now bringing the probe caudal and a little bit medial to pick up my bladder. I'm looking now at the apex of the bladder, I'm looking for any early signs of effusion, one of the first places where um, effusion in the abdomen will collect is just cranial to the apex of the bladder. Uh, and I can zoom in a little bit on the bladder um, to look for any bladder wall abnormalities or um, any abno intraluminal abnormalities such as bladder stones. Zooming back out again, I'm now gonna bring the probe towards the table into what we call a gutter of the abdomen, really looking for any evidence of effusion collecting in the most dependent area of the dog, which is gonna be the sort of ventral abdomen. Um, here, um, you know, you might get some gut in view, um, some intestine, and you could examine for evidence of good peristalsis, making a note if there's any um, obvious signs of ileus. The last view uh, for our limited abdominal ultrasound is going to be the umbilical view. Um, I'm just bringing the probe a little bit more towards midline and holding there. I can fan back and forth. Again, looking for any effusion, any signs of ileus. Um, we'll probably catch a little bit of the spleen in there as well, typically. Um, but that completes the limited abdominal ultrasound. Really can be done in less than five minutes um, in an animal um, that is in right lateral recumbency. So thank you, Luna, and thank you, Teresa.